Hi guys, this is jsnl.com and I'm here with the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. It just debuted in Europe, in parts of Western Europe, where it's priced at 1,500 euros and I have to say, finally, a camera phone. So we haven't had many camera phones lately, even though some were claiming that we do have them. The thing is that this is supposed to be superior to the Xiaomi 13 Pro, which was already impressive on account of its one-inch sensor. It's actually the successor of the very first model which made the sensor trendy, the Xiaomi 12s Ultra from last year. It looks like this, this is the olive green version, there's also a black one, I've already fired up the phone, and there are some photos on it of a vintage looking area in Bucharest, which actually reminds me of Paris. Now the phone itself is pretty heavy at 228 grams, but it's very easy to wield on account of the grippy backside. This one is an unboxing, so let's see what's inside the box. Xiaomi 13 Ultra is supposed to be a camera phone with uh, four 50 megapixel cameras. And in the box we find the key used to access the slots. When I say slots, I'm talking about nano SIM. This is the case which is bundled with the phone. It's also grippy and uh, somewhere between the classical case and a bumper case. And of course the usual manuals, documents and so forth. Now in the box itself we find the charger which provides 90 watt charging. Xiaomi took it up to 120 watts on other phones, but this time they didn't have as much room to put that in here on account of the cameras. This is a cable from USB-C to USB-A, and we are pretty much done with the content of the box. Now this handset here predicts what Xiaomi may implement on the Xiaomi 14 Pro, which may be available more widely than the Ultra, which once again is limited to Western Europe. Okay, so the phone itself is here and uh, let's talk a bit about the specs. So the thickness is around 9 millimeters, which is quite beefy for nowadays. And uh, I actually have the specs list here, just in case you were wondering, so you can definitely see it. So 9.6, 9.06 millimeters in thickness, 227 grams. Gorilla Glass Victus at the front side for the sake of protection of this panel. And at the same time, it has an antibacterial nanotech nanotech uh, silicone leather backside protecting it from well bacteria it's a camera phone you're going to travel so it makes a lot of sense ip68 certification and black or olive green are the color choices now aside from this thing here i think uh, we can definitely talk about the screen as i am going to show you some of the pictures uh, we have taken with this powerful camera so the screen is a 6.73 inch amoled 120 Hz refresh rate, WQHD plus resolution and adaptive sync. The brightness is supposed to reach a huge 2600 nits. And while most phones I unbox offer 1 billion colors, this one offers 68 billion colors. It has a Pro HDR support, has Dolby Vision, HDR 10 plus, adaptive reading mode and a special sunlight mode. Moving on from the screen, I see someone installed the IDA app here and with IDA I can definitely tell you the CPU which is obviously the most powerful choice now, Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It's accompanied here by uh, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, I know there's a version with 16 and half a terabyte of storage. Now the battery here, and before I go to the battery we also have some pretty cool, um, well, cooling technologies, I know it sounds weird but yeah, uh, there's premium cooling here loop liquid cool what is what it's called the battery is a 5000 milliampere hour unit and it charges at 90 watts via wire and at 50 watts via wireless there's also reverse wireless charging believe it or not even though we have leather at the back side now uh, with that being said we have stereo speakers you can see the top one here you can see the bottom one here and you also have the infrared emitter used to control tv set set top box and things like that we have Dolby Atmos technology, we have 5G connectivity, you have USB-C, and I'm very curious which USB-C. Believe it or not, it's USB 3.2 Gen 1 after so many Xiaomi phones with USB, uh, well, uh, 2.0. Okay, time to move around a bit. Uh, I want to talk about the cameras. So, first things first, the selfie one is a bit limited. It's a 32 megapixel shooter, a classical for Xiaomi. I've seen it a bunch of times. And uh, to be honest, uh, I'm a bit disappointed by its two lags. I mean, it doesn't have 4K video capture and it doesn't have autofocus, this 32 megapixel selfie camera. So yeah, it feels like it's lacking a bit. Now, at the same time on the back side, we have plenty to compensate. So there's the Leica optics uh, offered as a Sumicron lens co-developed by Leica and Xiaomi. There's the dual LED flash. And these four babies are four 50 megapixel cameras. The main one has the Sony sensor, the Sony one inch sensor from the Xiaomi 13 Pro, from the Vivo X90 Pro, from the latest Oppo. And this one gets some extras. It has laser focus, optical emistabilization, and a variable aperture between f uh, 
uh, 1.9 and f4.0 if i remember correctly this should be here somewhere then there are two telephoto cameras one with 3.2x optical zoom and one with 5x optical zoom also 50 megapixels and of course we also have the ultra wide 50 megapixel as well like we saw on the xiaomi 13 pro we have these styles like authentic and like a vibrant which are supposed to mimic the look of the leica cameras throughout the years these are some of the modes uh, short movie long exposure director mode panorama time lapse interval quick photo 50 megapixel and super moon there's a night mode, there's a portrait mode, which is supposed to be mind-blowing, thanks to the variable aperture, which offers a DSLR bokeh effect. And this is the photo, and now we can freely test the zoom. This is 2x, this is 3.2x, the first telephoto camera. This is 5x from the second telephoto camera. And now we go crazy with something like uh, 23x. All the ultras I've tested from Xiaomi have had excellent levels of zoom. This is no exception. This tower looks pretty amazing like this, and you can go all out here. Okay, so we also have the video where you can do up to 8K filming. However, you're limited to 24 frames per second. Uh, I've seen other flashes with 30. We also have a pro mode with some extras like shutter, what, uh, excuse me, there's the exposure, ISO, aperture, shutter, focus, and white balance. There are the document section and uh, a bit more to explore here check out this extra menu which is pretty important there's hdr macro there's a leica style there's ai there's tilt and aperture okay so yeah that's pretty much it it runs on android 13 with miui 14 on top of it it feels pretty snappy and uh, someone even installed call of duty here and play with it and we also have a special dedicated area for gamers a game space with a bunch of extra settings and options to tweak performance options I was happy to inform to be informed that the device doesn't overheat even in hardcore gaming. And aside from that, I definitely want to show you some of those beautiful pictures taken in Bucharest with this handset. There are two things I liked here. The depth of field generated by the phone in some instances and also uh, the zoom. So this is a museum that's supposed to mimic things from the early 1900s in Bucharest when it was called Little Paris. So there's a lot of French influence and the phone definitely highlighted the beauty of this museum. So yeah, we have shots like this, which can be used as a promo shot for Xiaomi. I love the shades and I love the lighting in these otherwise poorly lit areas. So if you're into traveling, this is definitely the camera phone for you. I haven't been this impressed by a camera phone ever since the Vivo X80 Pro, which is a pretty tall order nowadays. So basically, 2023 hasn't brought us as many camera phones as 2022. That's just one idea. Okay, so I'll leave it at that. This has been the unboxing of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. Uh, it feels like a promising camera phone, but with limited availability. That's it from us. Goodbye.